While having your salad, have you stared at cucumbers and wondered how they are grown? Cucumbers are packed with essential nutrients you need for healthy kidneys and fresh-looking skin. However, its cultivation, harvest, and processing are more interesting than you can imagine. Farmers get to work in the cucumber havens specially built for the crop. Wait for a second, aren't cucumbers grown on ordinary farms like other crops? Well, the answer is no. Special greenhouses spreading over acres of land are built for cucumber cultivation which you should see. From sowing the seeds to taking care of the crop and finally harvesting it by hand-picking fresh and long cucumbers, the whole journey is more exciting. Welcome back to another exciting episode of our channel. The Mechanicals brings you engineering marvels and little-known farming techniques that are revolutionizing the world in one way or the other. If you are new to the channel but enjoy learning about how technology and innovation are shaping the world's future, you will love to watch the videos we post on this channel. In this video, we will tell you how fresh cucumbers are cultivated, harvested, and processed in greenhouses throughout the year. Let's get started. The process starts with sowing the best quality cucumber seeds. However, before that could happen, special farms have to be made. And by special farms, we mean greenhouses spanning over acres of land. Since cucumbers cannot grow in lower temperatures and need a precise amount of sunlight, greenhouses become the best place for their cultivation. However, when a few cucumbers are to be grown, this can be done easily by making little greenhouses. But gigantic greenhouses need to be built when an entire crop of cucumbers is meant to be grown many times throughout the year. So, the first step is to build greenhouses. Building greenhouses began by calling all sorts of cranes, vehicles, trucks, and machinery to flatten the land. First, the land is measured, and a rough idea about the possible greenhouses is made. It's decided how many sections the greenhouse will have and where the walls and poles should be. Once all this planning has been done, holes are made into the soft ground to fit the poles. These poles, in return, will make walls and carry the weight of the greenhouse's ceilings. It should be noted that the greenhouses are made of glass, plastic sheets, steel frames, and sometimes timber. The main reason why these farmers are building greenhouses for cucumbers is simple. Greenhouses have a higher temperature than the outside temperature. In other words, the inside temperature is warmer than the outside temperature, which plays a vital role in cucumbers' growth. The entire framework of the greenhouse is made of lightweight steel rods, which will then carry transparent plastic sheets. Besides building walls and ceilings inside the greenhouse, proper placement structures are also made for the cucumber plants. Once the steel frame has been made, the transparent plastic sheet is spread all around the greenhouse. Now, it will keep the internal plants safe from the drastic effects of heavy rains, temperature, sunlight, and even pests and insects. Greenhouses exceptionally help the farmers take better care of the crop, which undoubtedly increases the yield by many times. Then comes the planting period. Before we continue further, tell us, are you loving the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos where we unveil breathtaking engineering and farming techniques. Let's continue now. Cucumber plants are selected and planted in plastic foams with holes. Those holes have soil and enough nutrients to grow those seeds into little cucumber seedlings. After some time, these little seedlings grow and become plantings ready to be planted in the greenhouses. However, before someone can enter the greenhouse, they are to be sterilized properly. Sterilizing walkthrough setups are installed so that every worker is free from bacteria or viruses. After this, those plantings are picked and placed into the steel trays built during greenhouse construction. When they are planted, the drip water system is also added to every cucumber plant. Simply, the drip water system is a tube injected into the soil, providing sufficient water for the plant's optimum growth. The purpose is neither to overprovide nor underprovide water supply. It should be noted that these cucumber plants are planted not directly into the ground. Instead, they are planted into long trays having enough soil and nutrients. Then, once they are planted, 
cucumber plants start to grow dramatically. Since everything is being done inside the greenhouse, cucumber crops can be cultivated and grown throughout the year. The greenhouse's atmosphere is optimum, hence, these farmers cultivate and harvest cucumber crops in all seasons. But then comes the problem of vertical growth. Cucumber plants grow vertically, however, their shoots are not hard enough to carry the weight. Therefore, they start to spread on the ground, causing intermingling and making it difficult to continue the process. Cucumber plants' length can reach up to 3 to 4 meters when they are grown. To solve this problem, workers ensure that cucumber plants are provided with sufficient support throughout the growth period. First, when they are below 1 meter in length, a wooden stick is used as a support and cucumber plants are attached to it using plastic clips. Later, when the length increases further, plastic wires from the top of the greenhouse are attached using clips. These wires work as a guiding support, ensuring that cucumber plants grow straight. With time, workers have to put new clips around the wire and plants because growth is so quick. If they are left without care, the cucumber plants will start to grow downwards. When the plant's length crosses 3 meters, steel rings are used to hold the cucumber plant together with the plastic rope. This process has to be repeated twice a week. Then begins the pruning process. Not all cucumber plants will grow as intended. Some go dry, turn yellow, and start to grow downward, ultimately resulting in their death. Therefore, once in a while, the pruning process is done to get rid of these drying cucumber plants. They are cut off from the roots and taken out of the greenhouse. At the same time, the healthy cucumber plants are taken care of well. It should be noted that cucumber plants have both male and female flowers grown on the same plant. Therefore, pollination becomes easier. Pollen grains from the male flower fall and reach the female flower, resulting in mating. That's where the cucumber will grow later on. It's interesting to know that a whole cucumber will sprout right from the female flower. That's why, often, cucumbers have flower parts attached to their lower end. At this stage, after a few weeks, cucumbers start to appear on the plants. Within 40 to 50 days after planting, farmers are ready to have the cucumber harvest. That's where the harvest period starts. Scissors, knives, and blades are washed well before they can be used to cut the cucumber off through the shoots. Even some workers like to pluck fresh cucumbers right from the plants. Every cucumber is hand-picked, and no kind of machinery is used because working in the greenhouse is delicate. Interestingly, not all the cucumbers are ready in one day. The harvesting period will continue until the next cultivation period. Therefore, workers have to pick cucumbers every day because plants don't follow any rules to grow all cucumbers on the same day. Workers ensure they pick only those cucumbers that are around 20 centimeters in length because that's when they are in their full flavor. Once they are picked, they are placed into large plastic containers. When all the cucumbers have been picked, and the plants don't have any standing cucumbers, they are cut off. The plants are removed from their trays to make room for the next cultivation. New soil and seedlings will be used, and the same process will be repeated. Since the greenhouse has already been built, the cultivation and harvesting process will continue for as long as the farmers want. Then, the packaging period starts. Fresh cucumbers reach the packaging areas, where they are washed well and divided according to size, weight, and quality. Here, everything is done by machines, and AI computer sensors ensure that the division is done flawlessly. Once the conveyor belts divide them, workers put cucumbers into cardboard and plastic boxes, and then they are packed. Now, they will be sent to all the nearby vegetable markets, supermarkets, and even homes. Also, they are shipped throughout the country. That's the reason why you can buy fresh cucumbers from your nearest supermarket. Did you know that cucumbers need greenhouses to grow? What if they are grown in ordinary fields? Well, they won't be the same quality we want them to be. What's the next fruit or vegetable you wonder about? Tell us about that in the comment section and we will make the next video on that. As for now, tell us, would you like to grow cucumbers in your home garden and make their pickles? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, 
Please like and share the video and subscribe to get more videos on technological feats and farming advancements that are changing the world. Until the next video, stay tuned.